Good morning, everybody. We have a one month old baby today. He is one month. I cannot even believe it. He's sleeping. I tried to put him down so I could do a little pumping and uh, didn't work out. He wants, he wants to be right here. Welcome to the vlog. Zion says, welcome to the vlog. Okay. He loves to hold his neck sideways, so it's like crooked. I got him in the carrier um, so that I can walk around and do a few things. Manny can get up and do some things. I'm going to make some coffee here in a minute. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. And um, I need to do some cleaning and stuff like that. I've been using this wrap carrier. Um, been using this wrap carrier from Kia Babies. They sent this over um, before I had him and uh, wanted me to try it out and all of that. And so I've been using this. I've been loving it. Um, it's really nice. I'm still trying to learn how to wrap him in it. Manny has to help me every time because it's it's a lot of fabric and it's good because you know it would fit different sizes and stuff like that. So it's a good thing but I'm just still learning how to wrap him in it um, on my own like how to wrap it around myself and get him in it on my own because um, it's just a lot of fabric and that kind of stuff. But it works really well. He loves to be in the carrier um, and he's just really content in the carrier because he gets to be super close uh, to me. And um, Manny has a carrier form as well, which he loves. And uh, Manny's is more of like the type of carrier that's, um, you know, more structured. So look at all that hair. Yeah, Manny's is more of a structured type of carrier. So, um, you know, it's like the kind that you can wear several different, like, you know, different ages and stuff like that. You can this one too, actually. You would just wrap it a different way. Um, but Manny's is the one that's almost kind of like a little seat <laughs> that you put them in um, and you carry. So it's the more structured kind. This is just the wrap. But this one's really, I like it a lot. It kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me of like a baby in the womb, and I think that's why they like it so much too. But um, Manny had him in the carrier, on, in his carrier on Wednesday night <clears throat> for youth group, and um, he pooped on Manny in that carrier. It came out of his diaper, it was a blowout, and it was all over Manny's shirt. Manny had to come home and change. Thankfully, we live really close to the church. Um, but yeah, it was actually pretty hilarious. I changed his diaper after that, and my friend Tristan was there, and she's like, all right, I'll help you get him cleaned up. And I'm like, well, you really don't have to, but, like, if you want to help, that's fine. So she comes in, and, and she's, like, sitting in front of him. And I told her he's probably going to pee on you. And then he peed on Tristan. So it was hilarious. Um, never, never a dull moment. So I'm going to make my coffee. This morning we did his one-month little pictures. Um, we got these little things from Amazon. Let me show you. Um, it's going to be on Instagram, too. Um we got these little things from Amazon that say they're double sided so one month two month you know all that um, just to put next to him in pictures and um, it is the pictures are really cute I was excited about that I wanted to do that for so long so yeah anyway um, it's been really super hot here I think it's been hot a lot of places but it's been just really, really hot here in Texas, which is, you know, typical. It's almost August. Um, it actually took a while to get super hot this year. But I know yesterday the heat index was 106. So it kind of stinks because we've been wanting to take Zion out, like, for a little walk. We have all this stuff for him to go out on little walks and stuff with us. And I think he would actually really like that. He loves to be moving and he loves car rides and stuff like that. I think he would enjoy a walk, like, in his, in his stroller. Um, and we have like a little, you know, insert for his stroller for when he's little, like where he can like lay back and everything. Um, but anyway, it's been so hot. We haven't obviously wanted to do that. I don't want to bring a newborn out with it being 106 degrees on a walk, you know, like that would just be miserable for everyone. And I don't want to do that to him, but we may go some morning because like this morning, I think it was like 79 when we woke up, we wouldn't go on a long walk, but in the mornings it does tend to be a lot cooler at nighttime. It honestly really isn't this time of year. But in the morning, it tends to be a lot cooler. So um, we may go on a walk in the morning sometime and just kind of see how he likes it. And definitely 
when it starts to get toward fall, when it kind of cools off. Some some years it doesn't really. Um, it takes a long time to cool off here. That's one thing about it. Like even when fall starts, it's still really hot. But um, once it does start to cool off, we will obviously go on a lot more walks. So this is what we got um, for the, the, the monthly milestone cards. They're from Amazon, if you guys are interested in these. Um, and they are the monthly milestone photo cards um, from Pearhead. The coffee machine is making a weird noise. But from Pearhead. So it includes seven double-sided wooden cards for um, pictures of your baby. Or your, it says, or your baby bump. So I think there's, yeah, there's one that says, oh baby. Probably feel like you could put around your belly. I didn't have them then. But um, anyway. Yeah, these are really cool. I love seeing pictures of these and I love um, doing them. So I'm gonna do that every month for him. But yeah, they have one that says hello world for like newborn. We just got them though. So we're just using them for the monthly, um, the monthly like updates and stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely check those out on Amazon. This was like the cheapest ones that I could find. I think they were like $12.99 or something. They've got some expensive ones on there too, but um, I didn't want to spend a whole lot just on little wooden cars. So anyway. Okay, so later in the day, we were about ready to head out to pick up a Chinese food order. I have not had Chinese food. Did I hear my name? Can you say my name? I haven't had Chinese food since before I was pregnant. It's probably been years ago. Um, we used to eat it all the time, but we're going. Zion is in the car seat. He actually, I just said on Instagram today, in his little one month update, he loves going on car rides. I know a lot of babies do. Some like babies either love it or hate it. Um, but he really enjoys car rides, so he'll probably fall asleep when we get in the car. He always does. Um, we're going to go get Chinese and probably a little uh, drink from McDonald's because I want to get a Coke Icy thing from there. They have those now. <laughs> I'm like a kid. I love stuff like that. And um, so, yeah, we're probably going to do that. We don't really get out much these days unless it's to go to work. Um, so we're kind of venturing out tonight a little bit. Um, so, yeah, a friend actually the other day then mowed me some money for dinner because we obviously have a new baby and everything and she said she felt like god was leading her to bless us with some money for dinner so that was super nice so that's kind of what we're doing tonight going out and getting dinner which we don't do very much um so yeah anyway that's what we're gonna do Happy Saturday. We're just chilling. <laughs> it is so hot here in Texas right now. Little man's just got a little onesie on. It's not even buttoned up in there. <laughs> and I'm wearing my shorts today. These are pre-pregnancy shorts. They're size 10. Um, and they fit me. So I'm, I'm kind of getting back into wearing my regular clothes again. My regular clothes from before pregnancy do fit me, but um, with my C-section, like incision and everything, honestly, they were just so uncomfortable to wear for so long. I'm four weeks postpartum and I'm still uncomfortable from that. Uh, so clothes like this don't usually stay on for too long. But anyway, um, I want to show you guys, this is going to be Zion's outfit for tomorrow for church. This is the cutest thing. So let me show you real quick. Okay. So this is actually, somebody gave this to us. It was actually hand-me-down but it is like so cute and um like literally like brand new it's a cat and jack brand how cute is that i'll have to show it on him tomorrow but then this is also cat and jack i think it like goes together or something this little shirt oh my goodness i cannot wait for him to wear that ignore everything in the crib he does not sleep in uh this crib so you know it's just kind of holding some things right now which we need to put away but here's a little play mat that we got the other half is in the living room um this is our changing table i always talk about this is pajamas from yesterday but um this thing is just incredible like we just love it so much so easy to clean up 
Here's our little stash of wipes, tons of wipes. We love those pamper sensitive wipes. So yeah, he's wide awake, he's just hanging out. Um, we just got back from Walmart a little bit ago and um, got some got tons of body armor, you guys. I've been, Man and I both have been loving body armor. It is so hydrating. And I've been trying to stay extra hydrated with breastfeeding and everything like that. Um, so yeah, we've been loving body armor. I'm telling you, we looked crazy. And the checkout, we got like every flavor possible. Literally our entire thing was just full of body armor. I don't even want to know how much we spent on it, but it's worth it because we literally drink those and they're better for you than like Gatorade and stuff like that. Um, and they are because they have like coconut water. They are seriously so good and so hydrating. So, so, um, obviously just sitting out here holding the baby. Um, I took a shower and, um, now we're just hanging out for bedtime at Saturday night. Um, and obviously we have church in the morning. So, um, getting ready for that. But I want to tell you guys this story because I was pumping before. Uh, I showered and I was thinking that I didn't tell you guys the story yet so I want to tell you real quick um it's like I was so frustrated about this so I have to share um so anyway I um have been pumping a lot and have been um my supply has been really good throughout the day but at night time for some reason it dips and I know I've read that like prolactin levels are lower at night but some nights it's been really really bad at night time like it's been really frustrating but then literally as soon as it comes daytime again it goes back to normal and so during the day my supply is fine he eats a lot he actually eats um more a lot of the time than a baby his age would eat uh he goes to like cluster feeding and then he um you know just he eats a lot so anyway Typical feeding, he eats four ounces, but sometimes that's every two hours, sometimes every three, and then, um, which is pretty standard, but then a lot of the time, at night time, particularly, which is when my supply drops, he will eat a lot more than that. So, I've been trying to work on that, been trying to pump on a certain schedule and different things to try to make sure that my supply goes up, and it actually has been. It's been doing better tonight, it was doing better so far, so we'll see. Um, but anyway, so the other night, I pumped at like, 8 or 9 p.m. which is when it always starts to dip and I pumped six ounces which is a lot for me at that time of day actually for pumping that's a good amount for any time um usually each session I get about what he eats in a, in a normal time frame it's about four ounces so anyway um so I got six ounces I was super excited about it I put it in this bottle and I was so pumped that I was going to get ahead because that's part of the problem at night. Um, because he eats more usually in the nighttime. I think he was going through a growth spurt too. That was a big part of it. But because he eats more at nighttime generally, lately anyway, um, I can't get ahead. So I end up like, you know, just kind of falling behind. And um, he does actually like nurse as well, like, bre like on the breast. But... Um, that's, that's obviously a struggle too if your supply is struggling you know what I mean so just everything kind of is a struggle at night um so anyway and I like to pump as well so I can see you know how much I'm getting and how much he's getting and all that especially because I've had those supply issues at night so anyways he still does nurse as well um but he I pump a lot a lot so um so anyway, I pumped the six ounces. I put it in the fridge in one of these bottles. These are these Nano Beeb, Nano Babe bottles. They're like on it. They're like shaped like a boob. I think they're supposed to be like that. And they're kind of weird shaped bottles, but I really like them. They have a good flow. I think they're really good bottles. Um, so I use those a lot. But they're hard to close. They're hard to like, like latch close. They they're really strange. So I obviously didn't get it closed good, and I went back like probably over an hour after I pumped that I was gonna be ahead by like a feeding or two because I had another feed in there already like another four ounces or whatever in there so I had a lot in there ready to go for the night time so like this is gonna be good well I go in like an hour later to get him because it was time for his next feeding and I was gonna get him some 
and the milk, the six ounces, and actually it wasn't six ounces though because I had separated it a little bit, thankfully. So it was four ounces that I'd left in this bottle was all over the fridge, like everywhere. It had, the bottle didn't latch and it had gone literally everywhere. I had one ounce left, one ounce. And if you've ever pumped or breastfed or anything like that, you know, like it takes time Especially if you're dealing with like random low supply, like at nighttime my supply goes down um, and it's been really frustrating and in the daytime it's better and it's just, it's been more unpredictable, which I know they say the first month of breastfeeding your supply is still regulating so it can do things like that, but it's really frustrating and I, I'm literally working so hard to pump and to, you know, get ahead of with pumping and, um, you know that kind of stuff it's it's a literally breastfeeding is a full-time job it's an incredible privilege to be able to provide nourishment from your body for this for a baby like it's incredible it's beautiful but it's very difficult and it takes a lot of time and a lot of learning and I feel like they don't teach a whole lot about it and so it just takes a lot of like researching and it's it's a lot of work so I was literally devastated that I lost this milk. I mean, I was crying. I was so upset. They, they call it liquid gold. Yeah, that there's a reason for that. It is very important and vital. And, um, you know, I mean, we were obviously fine. I pumped again, and I didn't get quite as much, but I got enough. Um, but it was just so incredibly frustrating to lose that milk. Um, and so... Yeah, anyway, I don't use those bottles anymore. Manny can close them good. If he, you know, closed it for me, I'll use it. But I'm not using them on my own just because literally breast milk is too precious to me to lose it like that. I am not not messing with it anymore. Um, although I do really love those bottles, so when Manny can do it for me, I will still use them. But I'm, like, traumatized from it because I, and I even thought that might happen because they're hard to close. So I always try really hard to close them good, but obviously I didn't um so that was frustrating like extremely frustrating but you know what you live and you learn and I won't do that again um but yeah anyway it was just it was crazy and I had to share that with you guys I know if you've ever pumped you will totally understand um because pumping you do get less out from like if the baby was nursing like he gets more out than my pump does so pumping can be slow going um and yeah it's a job it really is and it's it's incredible I've learned so much I've you know I'm so thankful to be, still be able to do it after he's over a month now he's a month yesterday so I'm really thankful that I still have milk and that I know some people just can't make it this far just because their body doesn't allow it and I'm thankful that I'm still doing it but yeah it's a job so any breastfeeding moms pumping whether you're exclusively nursing exclusively um pumping or whatever you're doing it is very difficult and it's um yeah it's a learning curve and sometimes your body just doesn't do what you want it to do and it's frustrating and so we're working on that but that's part of the reason I started drinking the body armor drinks I really like them I think they're they're really delicious and they're really really hydrating but I actually started wanting to drink them more because a lot of breastfeeding moms that I see on Facebook um recommend them because they're so hydrating so that's actually what started that but I've been loving those they're like so so good so we're just kind of hanging out here um I'm gonna end the video here uh, with this towel on my head looking crazy um and we'll vlog tomorrow tomorrow we have you know some work to do and thankfully Zion gets to go with us and gets to do everything with us last week he had a poop explosion during the service and so that was fun times it got on the couch in my office but we got it sorted out um anyway thank you guys for watching today's video remember you are incredible jesus loves you we'll see you in the next one bye